Hi there. Uh, this is your end of year market update. So I won't be back to you till next year, but I kind of want to give you a, an idea of what this year looked like and just basically a synopsis of what's happening out there. So um, I'm showing you live stats that are coming f that are uh, supplied to us by the Barry District Realtors Association. And as you can see, I have clicked on homes for sale. So in all of Simcoe County, we have 36.1 plus homes for sale this year than we did in 2020. Barry, 46.3 less homes for sale. Innisfil, 43.1, Aurelia, 32.5. So the flavor of this video is going to be to let you know exactly what's happening out there and just how dire things are, to be honest with you. So month's supply. Month supply is important because that's how we figure out, you know, if it's a buyer's market, if it's a seller's market, if it's a balanced market. So anything that is under three months, anything under two months, to be honest with you, will feel like a seller's market. Anything more than that will feel like between two and three will feel balanced. Between three and higher is a buyer's market all day long. So here's what we look like. So when the year first started, no, that's three years. I'll change it to one year. So when the year first started, um, we saw a huge increase in our prices, 40 plus percent increase in the homes in Barrie and surrounding areas. And we had at that time, say in March, we had in Barrie, we had 1.8 months of inventory. In Innisfil, we had three months of inventory. And in Aurelia, we had 2.3. And in the greater Simcoe County, there was 2.2 months of inventory. And we thought that was tight. It felt tight. It felt like everything was going into competition. There wasn't enough homes to sell, too many buyers. So fast forward to the end of this year, as you can watch my sliding scale go down. Um, we have in all of Simcoe County 0.6 months of inventory in Barry 0.3, 0 0.3. We're not talking three months. We're talking less than a third of a month. So in other words, if you, if no more homes got listed as of today, it would take 0 0.3 of a month to absorb all the, um, inventory that we have, which is insane because we thought back when we were at one point, whatever, that things were so tight and couldn't get any tighter. Well, welcome to December. So reason I'm showing you all this is people are that are selling now are getting more than they ever have all year long. That's just a stat. That's a fact. And I know a lot of people are waiting till the spring and on paper that totally makes all the sense in the world. However, real estate isn't about pen and paper. It's about supply and demand. So when you have very tight supply, like we have right now, and a huge demand that we have right now, you're going to get top dollar. That's just what it works out to. So there's a lot of buyers right now that, you know, the banks raised their, their rates a couple of weeks ago, and there's a lot of buyers sitting with pre-approvals. Those buyers need to buy now. They need to buy now because once those pre-approvals expire, they will have to requalify at a higher rate. So that's where we're at. If you're thinking of selling, I know spring makes the obvious choice, but it's not. It would be right now. Things are that tight out there. Um, so again, month supply, that's why it matters. It's never been this low. I probably will never be this low. I imagine in January, once Christmas is over, you know, more people will start listing their homes and yadder yadder. But for now, if you're thinking of listing, this is your time. This is the time to make the magic happen. So thank you for listening and thank you for listening to all my market updates all year. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous new year. We're hoping that things will look much different next year. I hope you have time with your families in that this environment allows for it. I know I will be with mine, God willing. Um, so please take care. And again, thank you. And that's it.